When I was about 11, I just started boarding school and I had played some piano before. I was definitely interested in music, but uh, there was a boy in the year above me who played guitar and I, <laughs> I had a massive crush on him and I thought that if I played guitar, I could uh, impress him with my skills. I've been writing songs for years, like since as little as I was a child, you know, I've been writing poems and stuff and everything. And, like, so I've always, I've always loved music and I was always singing, but Actually, like I never had the confidence to kind of put myself out there. Ross was the first to join and then Emmett, the drummer, and then David joined last year, so it's kind of been building constantly. A year and a half ago, yeah, about that. Around, it? Yeah. And then Richard joined a few months ago. Yeah, I'm the new guy. We were in a band when we were 13, we could play one song, and we used to just play it everywhere. <laughs> the so just a bucket by King <laughs> Leon. <laughs> so we just play that over and over again. I had to take a break a couple of years ago because I lost my voice. So I had a couple of years out and I kind of went back to work and I wasn't very happy with that. So uh, last June I left my job and I started working on building a home studio and uh, getting really into software and into production. My anxiety, um, yeah, I, I, get, I get really, really nervous before I have to go sing on stage or anything. I think it shows a lot and I'm just really awkward. Like so that's, the, that's the biggest challenge that I've had. I think maintaining a presence in the public. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you it's got just so it. difficult to. People can be quite fickle, I think. Yeah. To have like uh, a constant thing to update about. Yeah. I mean, we literally go from one gig, like if you release a lot of music, you go from one gig where there's like hundreds of people there, and then you've got a gig a couple of weeks later and you've done nothing, and there's literally 10 people there. Slaying. <laughs> 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 For now, not getting a bit too ahead of myself, I'd probably say the Olympia Theatre or something like that would be lovely to play. Yeah, that'd be class. Yeah. Three Arena would be fairly cool. Yeah, <laughs> that would be deadly. Or the Olympia, that'd be cool as well. For my mum's 60th birthday, the whole family went over to Barbados. And I got up in this little beach bar and played a few songs on the acoustic guitar. And the uh, owner of the beach bar, Steve, invited me to come back and play at the first ever uh, Virgin Atlantic Music Festival in Barbados. Um, I've actually played, uh, I think it was 400 people. Yeah, it was the biggest crowd. Um, it was my very first gig I ever played. It was at uh, the National Opera House. And um, I was kind of thrown in the deep end for my very first one. So uh, yeah, that was that was that was the biggest crowd I've ever played.